So after playing this, uh, okay, let's get a window capture going before I get into one of my patented rants. Add window capture. Okay, not that one. Here we go. Oh, oh, cause Minmo. Ah. <laughs> I like it. I do not like window capture not working. Why Fallout 4? Why can't you be simple? Um, game capture, let's try that. Capture a specific window, Fallout. Ah, oh, that one works. Howdy, Onion. Uh, I don't usually stream this late. I just, I've been, uh, I got the, the evening, not even the evening shift, just like the late afternoon shift at work. I'm basically streaming this like half an hour after I get home. Okay, let's hop in. Uh, that might be the one pesuto, but I'm actually just using the basic version that skips the intro. Because, like, I don't know, I'm trying to go... <laughs> Hi, Nick. I, uh, I went with a Terminator vibe here on Nick, and I think it looks real good. I'm very happy. I might might change his armor, but uh, the, the outfit, glasses, and the hair, all choice. And I don't use Sanctuary as my main base, because I did that my first time. Oh yeah, no idea what that dollar sign is. Hey, office jobs suck. Or maybe yours maybe yours isn't so bad. I hope it's I hope it's better than most. <laughs> I'm I'm in a super fucking pessimistic, just nasty mood right now, so expect some nasty nastiness on my part this evening. It's kind of a nice sunset, though. <laughs> there are mods to remove the Creation Club? That's amazing. And I believe it. Hey, congratulations, Salvage! Me too! We are all withering cogs in the carpet machine. That's just... That's capitalism. Oh, it does kind of look like it smushed Nick and Deacon together. Uh, I gotta get, I gotta get on Deacon, but that'll... Uh, my plan right now is to max Nick's affection, dump him, get Deacon, and then start doing the railroad quests. What am I actually doing right now, though? Oh, everything's so laggy. Let's do, uh, let's do Curtain Call. That's a fairly faction-neutral, irritated thistle. That's me. One hondo percent. Hey! Uh, it, uh, oh, hi, Xside. I thought I'd said hello to you already, but no. Because you just got here. <laughs> this was a good idea. Like... Hitting the vape was such a good idea. Y'all are in for a treat of nonsense. Oh, I know, Pesuto. That's why... That's why my settlement... Or my... Oh, hey. Stuff. I'll take that. And that. And everything else is fine. Oh, so I try to keep my settlements... Or my... God, my home base is empty of settlers, because they tend to just muck shit up. Especially, like, stealing your weapons and using them, which I think might be a consequence of storing guns and ammo together, which is very, very bad thing to do. It's like, gun safety 101, don't do it! So maybe that's my fault. Shh, 
don't say anything. Maybe no one will notice, Dragon Man. <laughs> That's a good face. That's my face. Yeah, Cat Bean. It's, it's a good life. As much as I rag on Bethesda for very, very legitimate reasons, um, their games, they do fill a special niche that no other game quite captures, except maybe Caves of Cud. Honestly, I could ditch every Bethesda game ever and just play Caves of Cud to eternity. Ooh, Starlight is a good choice for a base. I went with... Well, I went with Starlight at one point. This game I have, um... <laughs> the thing I can't remember... What? Yeah, you, you run along, little... Brahmin. What the fuck? It's the co-op! The, the, the sunshine... Sunshine... Toyota. <laughs> what do you call it? Where is it? Where am I? Oh my god, I'm right beside it. Sunshine Tidings. Let's go there. Yeah, in the dead of night right now. Gotta be careful. Yeah, the Sunshine Co-op. It's sad, though, because the... One of the settlers must have killed Dr. Goodfeels, because he's not around anymore. Though... Uh, spawn. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Before I muck around with console commands, let's make a hard save. Console commands I don't already know, that is. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're in this together, you and me. Dr. Goodfields, where are you at? Whoa, man! Far out! I don't see him. Ro Robo buddy? Where'd you go? Did I type in the command correctly? T5221. Oh, oh, I see. Enable. Expected end of line. Oh, no, I see. Okay. There he is. Peace, dude. Far out. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Alright. I'm glad we resolved this issue. The game's lighting doesn't like streams. <laughs> hey, Shybert! Welcome! Welcome to my favorite worst fallout. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to contextualize that. Uh, and then I got distracted. Um, elaborate on what you said there, Onion, while I try and put my brain together for five seconds. So, this is my favorite Fallout game because of the gameplay tweaks, uh, specifically how power armor works, these fucking guys, and the gun feel. The gun feel is the best of any Bethesda shooter. Um, it's really tight. It even rivals Stalker, in my mind. A little less, because the inventory management isn't nearly as good. But, um... No, it, it feels really good to wander around, to loot things, to shoot your guns. And I really enjoy that. That's cool. Just dropping them off. Dropping the kids off at soccer practice. They have a dog? What popper? Was he on the vertebrate too? There's one calm dog. I also bought a dog. 
from a random traveling guy. I, I don't know what the deal with that is. Oh yeah, so what I was trying to say... Th those are basically the main reasons it's my favorite Fallout game. It's also the worst Fallout game because it has the least RPG elements, the least um, dialogue choices of any even minor consequence. It's, why is this necessary? Ugh, that's gross. That, that, I don't know if they were going for this particular uh, um, interpretation that I'm getting, but you gotta be kind of fucking tone deaf to not. Specifically, I'm referring to, you know, extrajudicial lynchings or outright fucking murder, but... Right, so the lack of dialogue options, the lack of real RPG elements, and, um... Obviously, like, one of the big things with the Fallout games has always been the Bloody Mess perk, which is a statement on video game violence, and um, they, they don't understand that at all. So that's why it's the worst Fallout game, but it's still my favorite. And I recently played New Vegas through uh, most of the way. I quit when the game wouldn't stop crashing. Ooh, this seems like a nice spot to take a load off. Ah, just chillaxing in my chair as I blink in and out of existence. And... Also, I... Oh, I was talking about New Vegas. Yeah, it was crashing, um... But I, I really enjoyed it. The gameplay is really janky, but the, uh, the writing and dialogue are generally really good. There are some rough to awful spots, specifically the that DLC, um, what do you call it? The one with the, the native people and just, whew! Oh, and then fucking dead money? Ugh. Worst DLC for writing and gameplay. Right there. See, this is exactly what I need. I need to just wander around in this world and bitch about things. So, thank you for joining me for this. Yeah, New Vegas is crash happy. Bloody mess. Uh, burning hearts, was that it? Indeed, Nick. I'm just gonna walk away while you talk to me. Uh, trains of thought. Sometimes they go off the rails. Oh, hey, buddy. Kaboom! Any more? No, oh, just the one. I'll take that toilet buff out. Oh, and I gotta grab these. I'm gonna try and smooth my mouse movements a little bit, because I know I can fucking jerk around like I'm doing something other than playing video games. But uh, I'll try not to make people too nauseous. FOV90 should be helping at least. Oh yeah, I wanted to say... I love the characters in this game. The companions? I mean, they're also fantastic in New Vegas, but uh, particularly... Oh no, something happened. I gotta go investigate. There might be loot. Uh, I really like Deacon in this game. I know he's not, like, emotionally investing, but I just think he's a really, uh, boing, interesting and cleverly written character. And Nick... I have thoughts about Nick. Because I find him very endearing. Uh, I love his dialogue, but it almost, it, maybe I'm just being too picky, it kind of feels like a cop-out that they just made him literally like a 1950s detective. It seems like, like shorthand for this character is interesting and, you know, you should like them. So were there just no pilots in there? Is that why it crashed? 
I'm really not going to get anything done. I'm just going to wander around and pick wild corn. Check out house husks. I feel like the environmental design in Fallout 4 is better than the other games, too. Oh, especially 3. Where are the kids to drop off at soccer practice? Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't played much with uh, Hancock. Oof. Oh no, I was gonna say like you're all right. He's in power armor, so there's no worries about fall damage. <laughs> dog meat is also an excellent companion. Yes, I love that you can give him a bandana, doggles, and armor in this game. Doggles, 10 out of 10, uh, every time. Oh, Sanctuary, is it still under attack? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. You know, I hung around for five minutes and nothing happened. Oh yeah, I like Preston too. I know everyone hates Preston. I kind of like him. I don't know. Like, I, I've dealt with suicidal thoughts so much, and like, to have him outright say, like, you know... I wasn't gonna kill myself, but I was basically looking for death. Like, that just struck such a chord with me, and, um... I like his voice actor, too. Even if his lines get grating. So, I, I just got a soft spot for Preston. Preston Garvey. What a name. Yeah, like... <laughs> He would be a lot more likable if he didn't force you into a quest every time. Like, sometimes I just want to talk to my friends. Okay. Alright, you're a little tough. That's why I got this totally broken laser pistol. So with legendary modification, you can take legendary mods and put them and swap them between weapons. So uh, I pulled Wounding off a pipe pistol, and it's basically my go-to when uh, the health bloat gets to be too much. Oh, Curie? Ooh, that's a weird one. I like her better as a robot. You should be able to romance her as a robot. Because, like, that, those, the smooth metal exterior is so hot. And uh, I won't hear otherwise from anyone. Yeah, I also like helping people. That's that's another part of it. Why well, I like Preston. But um, Cur Shy, who's the? Uh... Oh, we got some buddies. Puppers, gotta shoot them puppers. You know how it goes. Whoop whoop. Oh, they kind of fucked up bats in this game. I, sorry to everyone who gets upset at the sounds of dogs being heard. Um, it's actually one reason I don't travel with dog meat very much, because he makes, like, injured whining noises when you're walking around. It's like, my heart is breaking over nothing. I love this pistol, by the way. <laughs> pressed on gravy. Oh, that's good. That one tickles me. Uh, right, Shy. Who's the who's the who's the sexy robot who sells guns? What's her name? Is it Cleo? I don't think it's Cleo. Maybe it's Cleo. But like, she is like Glados tier levels of hot robot. It is Cleo, okay. Yeah, so I totally got a thing for Cleo. Just in case anyone was wondering. Oh, that works. I love a career in science. But I could not afford this. Please. Oh, I didn't take any damage. 
Cricket, Cricket is good too. Not as hot as Cleo, but she sells good guns. That's actually where I got the exploding mod from, which I have on my sniper right now. I just uh, ripped it off of her shotgun. Speaking of, just make sure everything's loaded. Okay. I also like this shotgun, even though it's utter fucking garbage. Like, <laughs> this is what, when I feel like having a challenge, I will uh, kill things with a shotgun. Oh, I don't want to hurt the robots. I just want to caress them gently. <laughs> this is getting weird, isn't it? Maybe I ought to fire up the vape again. We're, we're slowly making our way to a quest objective, at least. Uh, weapon mods. I have one that changes... Um, I Basically, I haven't added any new weapons. I love the, orig the original weapon loadout in this game, and I feel, especially the inclusion of uh, real-life guns, um, to be very immersion-breaking, and just kind of lazy. Not lazy, I'm sorry, that's rude, because modders, they put in so much work, they make such amazing models and animations, and it really is astounding to see just all the cool stuff they add. Personally, I don't like it in the game. I would take a couple of weapon mods that were maybe uh, flavored to the Fallout universe a little more. But at the same time, I do feel like the the basic weapons cover everything you need, pretty much. Um, in recent years, I've become much more of a fan of, I guess, uh, balance. For lack of a better word, balance and not just having every single single possible gun available. Because, um... I'm sure there's a reason I feel that way. And I might... I'll see if I can maybe work on that in the background and we can come back to it later. Uh, long story short, I, I don't want to add a billion guns to my games anymore. I think there is a junk launcher. It's it's like one spawn and it's tucked away in some random building, but I believe it does exist. Bean Town Brewery. Nice. Beans. Put the beans on it. So, uh, welcome to the knockoff Vine Sauce Vinny stream where I attempt to steal all of Vinny's humor and jokes and, uh, you know, just be a blatant copycat. <laughs> Killing people with teddy bears is very good. Oh no, oh, we're in the bug part of the game where I just randomly get experience. Okay, maybe it won't be so bad this time. Oh right, so, okay, my only weapon mods are, um, they change the stats of the various parts you can build weapons with to make choices more interesting and less of just, you know, this one adds damage, use that, adds damage, use that. So, um, for example, let's say, uh, the pipe pistol, because I have the most experience with that. Okay, these are, these are friendly dudes. Oh, is it Paladin Dance? Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Now that I unbugged your quest with a console command, because Bethesda can't fucking fix it. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so with the pipe pistol, uh, let's let's just take the grips for example, because I think they show showcase it well. Uh, the pistol grip reduces your sight time. It reduces your uh, hip fire spread, increases your sighted spread. So the idea with pistol grips is that you're firing from the hip more often. Oh. So what's the what's the environmental storytelling with this skeleton? 
You said it, Nick. I'm building a collection or something? Yeah, I'm building a collection of coffee cups. Because I need more ceramic. Oh, yeah, give me all the Myrler eggs. Okay, and then rifle grips will give you more sighted accuracy, and they will ruin your hip fire accuracy. Uh, they'll make it take longer to bring up your sights. Okay, I'm pretty sick of this. We all good? No, there's still a million of them. Yeehaw! I love all the flying gibbs. And... Okay, there's still a few eggs for me to steal. No, don't! You fool! Don't drink the water. It's like if you go to Mexico, don't drink the water. Yoop! Oh my god, I love Muggy. I love the toaster as well. Uh, Old World Blues was astounding. And even though I did get sick of the endless rambling dialogue at the end, it's only because there was too much of it and not because it was, uh, uh, like, not because the actual writing was getting on my nerves. All right, Dragon Man, we'll be here. Hope things are okay. Here, have a grenade. So this gun is the best gun ever. It reminds me of the... The Gruber in Payday 2 before it was nerfed to be a fucking sad sack of garbage. God, I miss the old Gruber. When you can get that thing to 100 accuracy, 42 damage, and just, like, a fire rate that actually meant something, like, you didn't need a primary weapon. It was your primary weapon. Rip old Gruber. Um, I have the problem of never bothering with heavy guns, which are usually more interesting than ballistic guns, but god damn, just, I could sit here all day and just fucking watch that animation. Just pull it out, rack the slide, very nice. So apparently, uh, this is the grenade happy stream. Or I just blow shit up. You sneaky fucker. Also, this is the, uh... This is the silence pistol sound from Goldeneye, I'm pretty sure. Ah. The old phantom range. Uh, that's ahead. So we are getting closer to our goal slowly as I pick up every single thing along the way. Yeah, the Silence 22 in New Vegas was real good too. Oh, I, when I played New Vegas, I actually played with the J. Sawyer mod, or is it J.E. Sawyer? But uh, it changed the hunting rifle to 22, and that actually slots in with the game near flawlessly. I have no idea why they uh, why they made it 5.56 in the final release. 
Like, it screws up the whole power curve of weapons. You like that spot? You still like that spot? Things that are considered tools actually weigh nothing, so they're basically free materials. I don't know if ladle counts as a tool. Yeah, onion. Oh, I'm with you. I love pistols, and most games make them crap. Which, unfortunately, Payday 2 did after they re-rebalanced the guns. I was a, I was a hard hit. It's true. I just want to play catch, but there are no baseballs, so I use the next best thing, which is a grenade, and I just happen to fumble the pin out every time I throw it. If they catch it and throw it back, it wouldn't be a problem, really. So who's really at fault here? God, I died to mines so many times in the early game. Now that I have some of the uh, fabled health bloat, it's a little better. Or worse. Get back. Right. I'm wearing the correct outfit, right? Okay. Oh yeah, uh, Armorsmith Extended adds armor crafting workbenches which is where I got this uh, shotgun I wear on my back. It's not actually a weapon, it's just a cosmetic piece, but I really dig it. Hey, apricots! Isn't this a nice surprise to wake up to? So I'm gonna pop on my hazmat suit and go for a swim. I think Armorsmith Extended is also what allows me to wear armor pieces over most outfits. Which, uh, which was a real, something I really lacked in the base game. Like, you get all these cool outfits, but, oh, no, don't wear them, because you basically have to give up any chance of defense. The, the gloves are also from Armorsmith. Um, the fact that I can put Ballistic Weave on anything is from Armorsmith. So, and this Lava Flow Scarf, which... I gotta say, looks just so nice. Very good scarf. Oh, ears play tricks on me again. Annoy. I thought I got him before he fired that missile launcher. Nope. I know better. We are almost to Trinity Tower. I didn't even get this quest done today. It's even more satisfying, Onion, when your shot shouldn't connect, but it does. And I'm not even being, like, facetious when I say that. It sucked in New Vegas, where you'd, like, line up a VAT shot, and then you'd have, like, 100% or 95-whatever chance to hit, but then the environment would get in the way, and it's like, 
I was cheated. The game... That's supposed to be cheat mode, basically. It's, I don't want to aim, do it for me. Not, I don't want to aim, do it for me, oh, but also I should have all of the negatives of having to aim manually. Along with RNG, because it's realistic that way. It, I take exception. Oh, is this where, um, I want to call him Meat. <laughs> uh, what's the Strong? I think Strong is his name. The super mutant companion you can get. Oh, frame drops, please. I have a lot of, like, things to kind of counteract the frame drops, but there's really no escaping them. Let's just say it would be worse. <laughs> I love mutant suiciders. I love shooting the bomb and watching them pop and then getting the nuclear material. But, like, I, I still get upset when they kill me. There's no escaping that. Alright, let's sit here for a moment. Listen to a vertebrate fight in the background. Maybe I'll peek my head out to see if we can watch what's going on. Oh, they're definitely in a fight. Oh, that's a... We went down to six frames per second there. Zetch, would you fuck a Brotherhood of Steel? A whole Brotherhood? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bugging you for a typo, but... God. I love typos. That's my kind of humor. That is, uh, that's good. Good rules, Etch. Don't fuck with fascists. Or don't fuck fascists. This is bullshit. We got a raider? Uh, Brotherhood of Steel is another weird thing, because cause of retcons and, uh, just general... Not, not really considering things. I don't know. I'm trying to talk about my pay, pay grade here. Uh, how do I get inside? I don't think this is the right way. I'm amazed they haven't been shot down yet. Well, fuck. And we're back. Let's try that again. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Fallout 4 stream without falling to your death. On that note, uh, I was I was praising the environmental design earlier. I love that they got a good sense of vertical environments in this game. Like, I still have my issues with it, but it much improved. You only show the weakest of us. It Nick? Only makes us Nick? Stronger. Oh my gods. If they cannot kill one shooting human, they are less than nothing. Stealth mode activate. Like 
Nick. Nick, you ruined it. That's my biggest issue with companions. <laughs> oh, he went for the dive bomb, but unfortunately lost his uh, physical weight and presence before he could connect. Truly a tragedy. Am I missing something? You got pizza? Thank you for clipping that, Faisuto. I'm gonna check that later. So, okay, I was talking about my my weapon mod earlier, the one that changes uh, how the components are balanced. For laser guns, you still do get uh, damage increases, but the trade-off is ammo capacity. So your default capacity with laser guns is 30. I have the first damage upgrade, which lowers it to 15. The next one lowers it to 8. And there's a damage downgrade that upgrades your capacity to 60. Which might actually make more sense if I'm using wounding as my main source of damage. Gone up. But I don't feel the need to... Oh yeah, I've got a mod that makes lockpicking easy because... Oh, you. Sweet. I've played... like four or five games with this exact same fucking lockpicking system, and I am goddamn sick of it. And it's not even as good as Oblivion's. Oblivion had the best lockpicking, and then they're like, no, this is too much fun. Fuck you. You're here! You're here! Stop hiding! Honestly, I'd love to find you and shoot you, but... No, it doesn't go through the floor. Being outside in, like, the main world cell in the city causes lots of frame drops. Once you're indoors, it's a lot better. So basically, to answer your question, yes. I just had to, had to go about it in a very roundabout way. I like the pit boy. I, I think it's cool that the color of your pit boy interface determines the color of your light. Like, I know most people probably know this, but I just want to show it off anyway. So let's say. Come on, sliders. Let's say I make it. pink. Pink light! Oh man, I I gotta stick with this now. It's too good. I don't know if you could customize your Pip Boy color before this game. You could customize your uh, heads-up display. Okay, so I complained about the lockpicking mini game because it sucks, but I do really enjoy this hacking mini game. So I'm gonna take a moment and do that. Yes. What are the chances? I really enjoy this minigame! 
like accidentally chooses the right one immediately, so I don't need to play it at all. Yum yum, deviled eggs. Oh, I dig this pink light. I gotta go see Cleo with this light on. Maybe something's gonna happen. Uh, are you talking about real devil eggs, Pesuto? I happen to love them. Uh, oh, they're really good. Like, if you get a green olive, cut it in half and put it on top, too. Yeah, devil eggs are very nice. But, like, you gotta like eggs, is the thing. You gotta like eggs, you gotta like yolk. If that's not your thing, devil eggs probably aren't going to change your mind. What were these two up to? Oh, there's a chain behind the toilet. I don't... What's the story, Bethesda? What's the story? You're not telling me a story with these skeletons. This is what I've come to expect. Skeletons mean giggles. Or, you know, statements about humanity's true nature. How am I doing? <laughs> am I am I making everyone motion sick yet? Oh, the toilet is a mimic. That's why they're skeletons. Oh, give me that dinky d can dog food. Da da da. Gods. I hate. <laughs> Speaking of things I hate about this game, how the barter system is like. It's NPCs only have a hundred caps at a time, and so you're always going to be carrying too much shit. This is obviously a problem with the game design and not with my personal mode of play, obviously. I mean, it's obvious, right? Hey, I help Sanctuary Hills. I help them find their inner uh, gun to shoot the enemies with. It's not the gun on the outside. It's the gun on the inside that counts. Oh. I think that's enough looting on this floor. That is a good mod, Pesuto. I don't know, I have a weird thing where, like, some gameplay systems I'm perfectly fine cheating to circumvent, and others I'm like, but, but, it's all about the experience. Got a thing for it's, it ruins my immersion. And there's really no logical distinction between the two, it's purely emotional. Though there was one point in Oblivion where I just started, like, not picking up loot and instead giving myself the equivalent amount of gold. Where am I going? Up. I want to go up. Which is why I jumped down. You see, it's all part of the plan. Plan to wander through these same rooms a hundred times. Really? I thought that was, like, the most common complaint right before uh, the game is crashing. Oh shit! Watch out! I think 
we're safe. Hold the door, he says, but the door was not held. <laughs> yeah, player dot add item F ten million, and you got all the capsule. Nick. I know you are a machine, but that doesn't mean you can just start merging with the walls. Oh no, we might technically be outside again, which means frame drop. Someone there? Gonna splatter your, I don't think we're gonna gonna splatter your brains! Rah! Crush, kill, destroy! That is almost my fat Albert Joyce, but not quite. Oh yeah, this, so that's a thing. Random bit of knowledge. Um, you do not need the leading zeros on item names or uh, item codes when using the console. So it's technically 00000000F. But you can just put in F and it's fine. Seven zeros and an F. Oh, it's like seven dragons and... Oh, I fucked that up. Seven dragons and a baby. They're always making waffles. Ho oh, oh, ho, I'm so clever because I referenced a popular uh, podcast. Please, shower me with praise. But no, I, lo I do like... Hello from the Magic Tavern. I do have to take a break from it occasionally, though. Oh, you almost got me. You're so close. Face me, you coward! I can... Oh yeah, we definitely are outside in the main world. I just had to test that. Oh, there's a way. There we go. <laughs> you can fuck around with the loading screens. Oh, I'm... Because I'm an idiot, I'm also watching Vinny play... Fallout 4, whenever I'm not playing Fallout 4. And, uh, it's good. I love, I love when Vinny does his thing, and it makes me laugh. That's... You know, I gotta side with Onion on this. The lack of a crunching sound from my death fall was really disappointing. Also disappointing, the pipe revolver sucks. There's no reason to use it ever, basically. Which... I, I love the aesthetic of the pipe weapons, so... It makes me a little sad. I'm not getting hungry because I had dinner. So oh, I'm gonna get my ass killed if I'm not careful. There's one mutant with the legendary uh, player killing gun. The pipe guns were a total waste. Tragic. At least with the uh, lower XP gain mods, they're useful for longer. So I actually got a good. Uh, 10 levels out of my uh, 38 caliber pipe pistol, which was also a rifle at one point. 
But like, oh, their designs are so nice. So much care and detail went into those, and they're just like relegated to, to cheap junk. I hear something. I I don't know what you're talking about. I heard nothing. I found you. Wounding saves the day. It's just a regular wound gun. Please come back. Don't leave me here. Nick, I think this is the weapon for you. See what I can do. I'll uh, see what I can do. <laughs> can I push him off the roof? I'm never ever going to use the minigun, so I'm actually going to give him a bit of ammo. <laughs> Too much ammo. Oh, that's... A thousand of these rounds are from a vertebra driver. Gunner. But still, that's a ridiculous amount of ammo to collect. I mean, what do you think, Shiver? Do I ever dress my companions in goofy things? Is Nick the fucking Terminator right now? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. I, though, to be fair, it could be a lot goofier, so... So I see where you're coming from with that. Um, I should definitely do more. More goofy outfits. Like, I don't know, I like Pamper's trench coat, so I left her pretty basic. Hancock. Deacon. Hancock and Deacon are perfect candidates for silly outfits. Welcome back, Dragon Man. He's in a little... He's in a raincoat with a duck hat. Oh, I love it. Whoa. What are you doing in there? Quickly get us out of here. More of my brothers will be here soon. A super mutant? This must be a trick. It's not a trick. There are no such he's thing as mutants. Too. Look, he's as gentle as a lamb. Oh, maybe a psychotic little muscle gland. But I swear upon the first folio, you are in no danger. Strong will not hurt human if human rescues strong and Rex. See? Sure, trust him. What could possibly go wrong? Strong here has a new purpose in life. I came here to teach these poor, ignorant creatures culture. I started with Macbeth. I guess they found it funny. All of them except oh. Strong. Strong learned this is a thing. To human power from Macbeth. I like milk Strong. Of human kindness. <laughs> yes, the strong milk! Will find milk. Strong will drink milk. Strong will have secret power of humans. Yes. Strong is so good. When they grew tired of taunting me, they threw me in this cage. Little did they know, there was a radio. They know. You bait to catch more humans. What? Why didn't you tell me? Strong thought you know. See what I have to work with? I've promised Strong to help him find the milk of human kindness. If strong boys drink their milk. I'll let you out. Hurry. 